Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Godly Play. My name is Lauren, and today I'm going to be telling you the story of Joseph. The story of Joseph can be found in your Bible near the very beginning. The story of Joseph is in the book of Genesis. Now, let's take just a moment and get ourselves ready before we hear today's story. Let's all maybe close our eyes and take a couple of nice, slow, deep breaths together. One more deep breath. There. Are you ready? The great family grew. Jacob had 12 sons. Jacob's favorite son was Joseph. To show his love, he gave Joseph a long sleeve coat of many colors. This made his brothers hate him. One night, Joseph had a dream. In the dream, he and his brothers were in the field gathering wheat Suddenly, Joseph's bundle of wheat rose up and his brother's bundles of wheat bowed down before his. Joseph told his brothers about this dream and then they hated him even more. They wondered if Joseph would rule over them. Joseph had another dream. In this dream, the sun, the moon, and 11 stars bowed down before him. Joseph told his father and his brothers about this dream, and they all became angry. It sounded like not only the brothers, but also Jacob and his wife would bow down before Joseph. One day, when the brothers were far away in the fields with the flocks, Jacob sent Joseph to see how they were doing. Joseph went to them, and when his brothers saw him coming, they decided to kill him. But the oldest brother, Reuben, convinced them not to. Instead, they took away Joseph's coat, and then they threw him into a pit. Soon, a caravan of traders came past. The brothers, the brothers sold Joseph to the traders for 20 pieces of silver. Then they took Joseph's coat and they dipped it in the blood of a goat and brought the coat back to their father. They told Jacob that a wild beast had killed Joseph, and Jacob wept. Joseph, Joseph was taken to Egypt 
and sold as a slave. Potiphar, a captain in the Pharaoh's army, purchased Joseph. Potiphar's wife had Joseph sent to jail. But Joseph remained close to God and God to him. Some of the Pharaoh's servants were in jail with Joseph. They had dreams, and Joseph told them what they meant. When the Pharaoh's servants were released from jail, they found that Pharaoh had dreamed many dreams that no one understood. One of them told Pharaoh about Joseph, and Pharaoh called for him. The Pharaoh's dream had two parts. First, there were seven fat cows and seven skinny cows. The thin cows ate the fat ones. Then there were seven big and good ears of corn and seven sick and thin ones. The thin ones swallowed up the good ones. Joseph told Pharaoh that his dreams meant there would be seven good years, followed by seven bad years. He told Pharaoh the dream was a warning to save up grain during the good years so that there would be food for the people of Egypt during the bad years. Pharaoh agreed and put Joseph in charge of gathering and saving the grain. The lands near Egypt also had bad years. The people from the lands near Egypt came to Joseph to beg for food. Jacob sent ten of his sons into Egypt to get food to eat. When the brothers came to Egypt, they bowed down before Joseph. They did not recognize him, but Joseph knew who they were. He kept one of the brothers with him in Egypt and gave the others grain and sent them home. Then all of them came back. This time Joseph told them who he was. He said, God sent me before you to preserve life. Joseph and his family spent the rest of their days in Egypt. When Jacob died, Joseph took him home to be buried in the land of their fathers. Then Joseph and his brothers returned to Egypt where years later their children would become slaves because the new Pharaoh forgot all that Joseph did.